from? Oh, this thing. What is this sheep? How many steps? Uh, 100 and I think 20 or 12. You can tell me. Hi there, my name is David Drays, and you've just watched some of the video footage that I took um, on my Kodak camera from my walking tour of Odessa. And right now you're checking out some of the pictures from show number 24. Um, this was my first show in Odessa, and uh, the first thing that you're going to notice is that there's no video footage for the show. Um, and the reason for this, um, and it is a very good reason, um, Priatelli DT Scholarship Fund, they had a helper uh, vo slash volunteer come help me out with the show, and her name was Natalia. She is a very bright young lady, and sh as you can see, she is a great photographer. But when it came to operating a, a video camera, Natalia did not realize that in order for you to actually take a movie, you have to hit the record button. So she, she just saw that there was something in the video window, and she assumed that it was recording, and it wasn't. So for the first two shows in Odessa, I just have these slideshows, but they are very good slideshows and they are very good pictures and they take uh, excellent uh, footage of the kids' faces and uh, their expressions and an excellent chronology of the show. Um, I arrived from Nikolaev after about an hour and a half bus ride. I arrived in Odessa at the bus station very, very late at night and it wasn't the best of neighborhoods. But um, the Priatelli DT Fund has an affiliate in Odessa named Sophia. She is also interviewed in the um, the next day in the uh, Belgorod Nostrovsky uh, TV interview. Um, the next day we had a, a TV crew follow us around, and um, Sophia is actually interviewed uh, as am I. Um, but for this show, um, it was uh, an older group and a younger group together. And I believe this is about 10 a.m. And right there you see the older kids after being a little bit skeptical. Now they were standing up so they could experience every little detail and see everything that was going on. And uh, that always gives me a very good feeling that you're bringing to both young and old. You're uh, instilling a sense of magic and wonder. So um, for this show, uh, Sophia drove us there. And uh, Natalia took the, uh, the, f the camera footage. And uh, Natalia was actually a former orphan, and uh, just so you get a better idea of what goes on in these orphanages, um, they, they don't spend the whole day there. Most of them do go to school during the day, and uh, they just basically, they're, they're bused or they're transported back to the orphanage, and that's where they sleep. Um, the kids were very, very well behaved. The only bad thing that we had happen in any of our shows was uh, in Nikolaev. Uh, we had this huge audience of about 100 or so kids and they all rushed the stage at the end and grabbed more than one balloon and popped them and wanted more so it was just kind of a catastrophe but it still worked out they had a great time but these kids were just much better behaved um, they all waited their turns for the balloons there was very loud applause uh, very loud laughter and it was actually one of the better shows and better experiences that I had right there you see Sophia on the right hand side and she's laughing and enjoying the show just like everybody else so uh, at this time, I would like to thank Sophia for being an excellent chauffeur around Odessa, and Natalia, who was an excellent photographer, and also Irina, who uh, was my translator in Nikolaev and Odessa. Um, thank you very much for making this tour and this show possible, and I invite you to check out the rest of the shows that we have posted. There's some more footage of Odessa in the next posting. Thank you very much for watching.